this video we will discuss the problem minimum times a has to be repeated such that b is a substring of it right so it says that you will be given two strings a and b and you have to find the minimum number of times that you will be repeating the string a such that b becomes a substring of a right and if it happens that b can never be a substring of a then you have to return minus 1 so let's quickly copy this case and try and understand what the problem statement is saying so if i'll have this case so let's say if the string is given to you as a b c d that is the string a that has been given to you and let's say the string b has been given to you as c d then a and then b then c then d and then a and then b right so if this is the second string given to you so what you can do is if you repeat this string a b c d right the first string so what does it becomes it becomes a b c d right after that let's say if you repeat it uh, again so do we get this uh, substring that is c d uh, like this c d a b c d we get c d a b c d we get but we need a b as well right so we need to repeat it again so we can you can see that a b c d i repeat again and after that i can easily observe that i'll get this particular substring right i get i get this b here i can get b as a substring of a because now c d a b c d a b is occurring in the particular string right if you will see not this uh, substring but this 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 is the substring b right so from here till here right so you have to tell how many times the minimum number of times that you can add a repeatedly to itself such that you can get this string b right so how can you do this particular question so the first thing that you will observe is that what you need what you should be doing is if the length of the first string if the length of the string a is lesser than the length of the string b right if the length of the first string is lesser than the length of the second string right if the uh, if b is greater then b will never become a substring of a right so for uh, b becoming a substring of a at least b should be equal to the length of a or a should be having greater length right so uh, i have to uh, repeat i have to a, make a is equal to a plus a kind of thing i have to keep on uh, adding a with itself until and unless it is greater than b right so this is one thing that i have to notice so another thing that i have to notice is is that sufficient is that going to be sufficient uh, maybe it's not going to be sufficient why because let's say if i did this right so let's talk about this when i was here so i can observe that now the length of a is not lesser than b because now what is the length of a i can see that the length of a is 8 right and what is the length of b length of b is b is nothing but uh, 8 uh, as well right so can i say that uh, now i don't need to add anything no i couldn't because you could see that i added a b c d once again right i added a b c d once again so what i'll do is what i'll do is first of all i'll ch i'll check if a a's length becomes greater than b greater than equal to b right so after that i'll check if a if b is becoming a substring of a or not right so i'm checking is it becoming no it's not right in some cases it might in some cases it, it might not so if does if it does not become so should i return a minus one for this case no i should not why because i should add the string a once again to itself so i should add a b c d such that i guess this particular substring repeating that is c d a b c d and this right c d a b c d and a b i get this string so that is what i have to do that if the length of the string a is lesser than the length of the string b till then i'll keep on adding and then after that once its uh, length is greater or equal to the length of b then i'll check that if it's equal then uh, i'll return the number of moves that i've taken if it's not equal then i'll directly not return minus 1 but i'll try to add it once again to just to check that if it can become a substring if b can become a substring of a right so this is what i am doing let's try and quickly write the code for this particular approach so what i'll be doing is first of all i'll be given the strings a and b right so i will require a, another string let's say a string str right because i'll be updating a every time so i need a string that contains the original string a right so i have stored in the string s i have stored the string a right now what i'll do is i'll make mark the number of moves initially as one right so after this what i'll be doing is i'll be running like i'll be running until what uh, a dot size until my a dot size is lesser than b dot size right i'll be changing the string a so until my a dot size is lesser than b dot size till then i have to add because uh, if uh, the a dot if the size of the string a if the size of the first string is greater or equal to the second string only then the second string can become a substring of the string a right so that's why what i'll do is i'll do a plus is equal to s so i'll keep on adding right and i'll also do 
moves plus plus i'll keep on uh, incrementing the number of moves that i've taken after this i know that in strings i have a find function which in the worst case has a complexity of order of n square so i can apply it and i can check in the string a that if uh, a dot find if a dot find b if in the string a i am able to find b right if it's not equal to minus 1 so if that means that in the string a b is actually present so b is a substring of a if this is true then in that case what i'll do i'll return the number of moves that i've taken so far uh, should i return of uh, minus 1 no i should not because as we checked that if uh, i need to add it once more right i need to i need to append a once more i need to do a plus is equal to s for one more time and i need to do moves plus plus once again because it might happen that i might need one extra move right one extra addition in the string a so that's why after this what i'll do is i'll say that after this i'll check again if a dot find b is not equal to minus 1 right if it's not equal to minus 1 so basically what does this mean that if b is becoming a substring of a after one more addition after one more move in that case what i'll do is i'll return the number of moves right otherwise if that is not so so in that case i have to return minus 1 because a cannot uh, b cannot become a substring of a in any case let's try and compile this code and see whether it's working or not okay so some compilation error we are getting yes we have to write this as a string now it should get accepted so you can see it's working on the samples let's try and submit it so you can see that this problem got submitted and this was the cleanest approach for solving this problem that is you uh, store the string a original string a in a string s or a, in a temporary kind of string you mark the number of moves as one then what you do is your b will be a substring of a only when the size of the first string is greater equal to the second string right uh, if until that time i'll keep on incrementing the number of moves and i'll do a plus is equal to s once i'm done with that so i'll check if uh, if b becomes a substring of a then in that case i'll return the number of moves otherwise i need to append once ag a once again i need to take one more move and i need to add the string a once more to itself right that is a plus is equal to s i need to add the original string once more and i need to check if it's not equal to minus one, I'll return the number of moves. Otherwise, I'll return minus one. Thank you for watching this video.